The Maryland Terps falter on the road, losing 71 to 60 against the Wisconsin Badgers on Sunday. The Terps led 33 to 27 at the half, but the Badgers would shoot 60% from the floor and snap their two-game losing streak. The loss drops Maryland to second place in the Big Ten, one game behind Purdue and Wisconsin. Terps will travel to pivotal Big Ten matchup against Northwestern University on Wednesday. Bethesda's very own Chef Ipe Von Hanks is celebrating his victory in Food Network's cooking competition, Chopped. The Silver Diner executive chef and co-owner won $10,000 last Tuesday, beating three other chefs. Ipe will be donating his prize to nonprofit Doctors Without Borders, and his winning dessert dish will be featured on the menu soon. Mount Vernon will be celebrating George Washington's birthday with a free festival today. The celebrations kicked off this past Saturday with a breakfast featuring some of his favorite foods. The celebration continues today with free admission to the Mount Vernon Estate, dance performances in arts and crafts, and much more. If you've never been to a national park, then today's the day. National parks are waiving entrance fees for all visitors in honor of President's Day. More than 10 parks throughout Maryland and Virginia are participating in the fee-free day, but camping and touring free fees may still apply. You can find a full list of participating parks at www.nps.gov. America's first Eagle family is expecting a new addition. The First Lady Eagle laid an egg last night at the U.S. National Arboretum. It is, their f it is the first this year. She raised two named Liberty and Freedom last year. The baby Eagle will be named DC-4 and is expected to hatch in 35 days. Fans of the first Eagle couple can tune into the DC Eagle Cam to stay tuned. Bow Bow the Giant Panda is having an ice cream cake for the last part of her send-off before departing for China tomorrow. DC residents and people from out of state have come to say goodbye. Natalie Hutchinson has more on the story. Bow Bow's cake is in the shape of a Chinese pagoda and is the last part of her goodbye before she boards a plane tomorrow morning. The three-year-old panda is headed to the China Conservation and Research Center to be a part of a breeding program. That was actually her very first time to come to the zoo ever. We got her Bow Bow, and she just has loved it since. And so we remember watching Bow Bow as a cub on uh, the webcam. She's eating the tree! She eats bamboo. The National Zoo has hosted a series of special events for Bao Bao starting last Thursday and people are rushing in to say goodbye. I work the panda cam and I've been working pandas in one capacity or another for about 30 years. So I know the pandas well. Today I'm giving out postcards for Bao Bao and for the kids that want to write a note on the back, the cards will go to China with her on the plane tomorrow. Oh, look at that with the mouth open. Hi, baby. Bao Bao is leaving behind her mother and younger brother, Bei Bei, but will get to join her older brother once in China. For District Wire News, I'm Natalie Hutchison. Thanks for watching District Wire News.